trying to affect it. Well, gentlemen, for the last 30 years, Christmas in the Woodlands and Enterprise is where thousands of families have enjoyed the lights of the season, in fact. At the time, elementary school principal Milton Trawick and his family wanted to celebrate the holiday in lights. Christmas in the Woodlands started out with just the Trawick's yard, and over the years, it grew to encompass two houses with a driving trail through those yards. There's hundreds of displays, including Cutouts, inflatables, it's estimated, you know, in fact, guys, there's anywhere between one and two million lights. Around 23 to 27,000 cars drive through the lights annually. Is that we've come through and enjoy the lights and the squeals of the little kids uh, is rewarding to us. Uh, and it's more or less a, a labor of love to the community. Now, the tour through Christmas in the Woodlands doesn't cost anything, but donations are accepted to help defray the huge power bill if the weather remains dry. The last night of this year's celebration will be next Tuesday, December 27th. It's located at the intersection of Highway 84 East and the Bull Weevil Circle. Just follow the lights. And I know, uh, Aaron, you've been to that. Yeah, I enjoyed time. it. That's something me and my family would do every time we come through to Panama City. Mm -hmm. so yeah, you get it. people from Montgomery all the way to Panama City.